Morning guys, we're here again, we'll do some more cooking today. A couple of different dishes today. We want to do a nice marinated chicken wrap with some rainbow slaw, hot chili sauce, and a nice little cooling dressing to go with that as well. And then we've got an interpretation of a niçoise salad with some beautiful hot smoked salmon, lovely new potatoes, green beans, olives, and some red peppers. Let's go and do some cooking. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is a, a kind of interpretation on a tuna niçoise salad. But instead of the tuna, we're gonna use that nice hot smoked salmon that we talked about this morning down at Goose Moor with John. Some new potatoes, um, olives, green beans. Uh, I'm gonna put some peppers through it um, and some other bits and bobs. What I'm not gonna do is put eggs through it, which is classically, which we classically going with tuna niçoise, purely the fact that, um, again, Sue doesn't like it. So we're, um, we're not gonna put that in for her so she can actually have it and enjoy it for lunch today. So what we'll do is just get some new potatoes on the go. And what I like to do is get some new potatoes, obviously in the pan. And then with that, we're gonna add some different aromats and flavors to it. So a nice bit of thyme, half a head of garlic. So again, so it's not just a steamed new potato. It's not just a boiled new potato. You've got flavor being, base flavors going into that. And my favorite bit of the old Cornish sea salt into there. Again, you can use table salt, which is perfectly fine. So we'll get those on to cook. Once those are cooked, we'll then steam off some, some lovely green beans, mix that with some olives, and like I said, um, some red peppers again, the same red peppers that we used for the, for the sauce. Uh, so we're not wasting anything. And we'll mix that with some nice olive oil, season that up, a few herbs going through that. We're just gonna turn the attention now to the, um, move that to one side, turn attention to the salmon, which is again, a fantastic, fantastic um, product that we've got here. So all I'm going to do is take that out. And I'm just going to flip that over, take the skin off, and just if there's any bloodline there, just gently scrape out the bloodline. There we go. Yeah. Just nice and easy to pull that off. I want to say the bloodline. It's nothing disgusting on try that, I know it sounds horrible blood, but all it is is just that grey bit there and a few bits of skin, we just scrape that off. All the hard work's done for me. As in the smoking and all that sort of stuff, so I just have lovely produce just to sort of um, work with. Now we have the club legend Kev, Kev Miller. OBGBH. OBGBH, ABH, everything else, housewife's favourite. So we're just going to pull that down. Right, Kev, how are we doing? Good, nice. Is that for me to take home? It is for you to take home. Fantastic. Fantastic. So you need to cook tonight. That's it. And we've got some chilli sauce as well. Oh, jackpot. See? Cater for everyone here, don't we? Take your best chef the exit. That's it. <laughs> so we're just going to flay that down now, wait for use later on. Nice big chunks. Sorry, Kev, I was talking about the salmon, not you there. Um, yeah, just break that down for use for later. We mix on, on, on the salad. It's a beautiful. We'll let you guys try it later on. We do have this quite a lot because it's a good oily fish, great for you. And again, obviously another source of protein. Take that all down. It does smell good. So next, next we're gonna do, it's kind of like a little chicken wrap. Well, not kind of, it is a chicken wrap. Got some lovely chicken breasts. Again, just gonna dice that up into the bow here. And what we're gonna do is gonna make a little marinade of yogurt, some spices. Bit of soap, bit of lime, and then we'll just cook that off. We'll make like a little wrap of a little lunchtime treat for the boys, and with that, we're going to do like a little um, slaw, raw rainbow slaw type thing. Um, again, very summery, very fresh, crunchy. So, we've got some yogurt going in here, some natural yogurt. Just going to put some spices in. Turmeric, half a turmeric, some ground paprika going in, a bit of chili, going in, some salt. Obviously, everything gets nicely seasoned. And I think I haven't got it here. Now we'll just put some fennel seeds in as well. Quite like my fennel. Use fennel seeds or ground fennel. And again. Touch 
out of line. Give that a good old mix up. And we just let that sit and marinate now. Half an hour should be fine. We'll cover that, put that in the fridge. We'll just clean down because obviously we have chicken everywhere. And then we'll start making the slaw. So now I'm going to make like the rainbow sort of slaw to go into or go with the chicken. We've got some lovely beetroots here. We've got a normal sort of beetroot. We've got, again, beautiful colour here. Golden beetroot. Great flavours. Great colours. And again, you can use a peeler. Just got to peel it around with my knife. Nice and easy. I mean, these are raw beetroot, obviously, just thinking of textures and stuff, but you can use the normal, you can get beetroot in packets already pre cooked, but I'm just leaving this raw for the texture, crunchiness, and healthiness of it all. Also, as well, which I haven't done is maybe wear gloves because then it'll still don't stay in your hands i've got a little again i've got my little my little toy here my little chives mandolin and we're just going to break these down to nice little strips if you do get one of these just be very very careful of your fingers take your time So you just get little sticks. There you go, something like that. I'm just gonna put it into this bow here to mix in it. Mix up. It's only for one for you guys, so you're not gonna do too much. Just have a clean of that. But again, if you look at the colors, vibrant. Texturally, because it's raw as well, you're gonna have that nice crunch. Going to use up the fennel, which again is a nice aniseed flavour, crunchy freshness into the salad. But first, I'm just going to use a celeric, which isn't the best of best of looking things, but it's one of my favourite things to use. So tasty, so versatile. And we'll just cut that down to the size that we need. Again, you can use a peely with this. I'm just going to run my knife through it around it. Take the time. Don't need loads today because it's just one portion. And the little teeth, and because I quite like it, and because I need to use it up, we'll use the fennel. Use the fennel again. Now it's up to you what you put through it. You can use some apple through it, some red onions, onions bit of carrot and a little celery but this is just my little interpretation it would be whatever whatever you want it to be again so just to break it down and season it so I'm just going to leave it like that give it a good mix up you can put yogurt through that and just, well might we've got a bit of mint a bit of chili but I'm going to leave it like that quite fresh just season so that will start breaking down with the salt will We'll draw a bit of moisture later on, but you've still got a nice crunchy salad for when we build the wrap. So we'll just put that to one side. Okay. At half an hour, 45 minutes now, nicely marinated. Uh, and we're, all we're gonna do now is just stick it into the pan, well, stick into the tray in a medium to hot oven and get that cooked off. So because it's got, obviously it's, it's all chunked up, 
nice big chunks marinated. It won't take as long to cook. So we'll check that after about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so now the um, the, the potatoes are cooked, which we which you saw earlier on, cooked with a nice bit of thyme and garlic, give a bit of extra flavor. Just gonna go and put together now the uh, the hot salmon niçoise. It's kind of like a niçoise, it's not classic before people write in and it says it needs to have this and it, that and it and eggs and anchovies. I know that, it's just an interpretation. Basics are still there. So I'm just gonna cut down on these new potatoes, lovely now. Into the bowl, build up the salad. Still slightly warm, which is absolutely fine because then when we dress it, it all didn't take on the, the flavor of the lemon and the, and the um, olive oil. And it's just an assembly really from that. So we've got the beans there, sorry, the um, new potatoes, some green beans, which has just been steamed off, nicely top and tail, steamed off. A couple of minutes, nothing more, so we've still got the texture there. So beans, some lovely olives. Got again, like I said, we've got these, these nice red peppers that we used before. So why not use those up? Nice Provencal. Just run my knife through those quickly. In we go. Again, you can do this at home. You can be as nice or as neat or as not nice or as chunky as, as you want to be. There's no rules. You're not trying to get a Michelin star. You're just trying to get some nice flavor, some food for everyone, nice and light. So we've got that so far. Just gonna chop a little bit of basil into that. Just a couple of leaves would be fine. Get those together. Get us a guard again. You can be as neat or as not, you can rip it in. It's completely up to you. It doesn't have to be mega. Basil goes in. So, not too much because obviously we've got the oil, sorry, the olives in there to, um, there's a little bit of salt as well, touch of olive oil. So there we go, we've got like a lot of olive oil and lemon dressing there really to, to give everything a bit of a zing. We mix it all around. Obviously, traditionally, you'd have boiled eggs and lettuce leaves in there as well, but like I said, Sue doesn't like boiled eggs, so we leave it out for Sue. Need to look after Sue because she washes my chef's wipes and my cloths, so we need to look after her. And then just a little build it up, however you want to plate it up, really. Again, you can use, I'm using the hot smoked salmon because it's lovely. You can use tin tuna, tuna steaks, cook off a little bit of salmon, um, just a normal salmon steak. And I've got everything here apart from my salmon. Brilliant. This is just it. We broke that down earlier on. And again, some really nice flaked salmon there. Build it up nicely. So we can see everything. Inside of the plate, a little touch more lemon on top, just to give it an awakening. And give it a little bit more season if you like. And then just to finish off again, because we can a little bit more basil again. Again, you can either rip it. A little bit of basil on top. And that's your or oh, interpretation of a hot smoked salmon in Niswa salad, loosely based. Chicken's ready now. And we've managed to get some nice little gnarly bits on the side, which obviously adds extra flavor. So obviously that's chicken's had a good like 12 to 15 minutes in there. Still circling nice and juicy. Got some gnarly bits on it and we'll just let that rest and then we'll build the rest of the dish. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is the chicken's cooked, nicely nicely rested, nice and juicy. We've got the slaw that we kind of talked about earlier on. That's come down a bit, broke a little bit down the juice and stuff with the soap. And we're just gonna put it together now, really. So, little wrap. 
nice and simple, nothing complicated. Got the nice crunchy rainbow slaw, if you like to, if you like to call it a slaw, which is all nicely seasoned. Beautiful, beautifully cooked marinated chicken, nice and succulent, we'll build this up. One more bit, why not, because we can. That's all that, wipe my hands. That. And then, again, what we made earlier on, we've got the homemade Cliff chili sauce, which everybody adores. It's, again, you can have it smoother, chunkier, textured, put that on the chili sauce like you do on a Friday night. And a bit of cooling element. Again, we're gonna use that yogurt, mint, coriander. Pull that on, put that through. Again, because of can, we've got a few crispy onions here for texture on top. And we just wrap that up, roll that up later on and just eat it. And again, slice a few chilies. Let's get it's optional, we don't have to. And then there's your little cliff, little chicken wrap, little treat. What would you want? Nice and summery when you finish the day's training. It's just a refill. And that's the last of the dishes for today, guys.